As of right now, the San Francisco Giants are sitting at 16-9, and, and they're currently tied for first in the NL West. Now, coming into this season, no one was expecting the Giants to be this good to start the season. Everyone was kind of seeing this team as maybe like a 500 at best team. So it's safe to say they have been one of the most surprising teams in all of baseball. So today I'm pretty much going to be going over the San Francisco Giants as a whole, why they're off to such a hot start, and if I think this will keep up. Now their hitting has been pretty solid, I'd say. They don't really have a superstar on offense. Their best player, arguably, is probably Mike Yastrzemski or Buster Posey as of right now. Now Buster Posey has had a breakout start to the season as well as Evan Longoria. As of right now, Posey is hitting 351 with 5 home runs and only 57 at-bats. And no one was really expecting this simply because Posey is past his prime at this point and he sat out last year so there was lots of questions whether he would come out out of the gate really slow this year simply because he didn't play at all last year. Now similar to Buster Posey, Evan Longoria is as well past his prime. He's at age 35 right now and no one was expecting him to have this start to the season that he is having. So far in 61 at-bats, Longoria has four home runs driven in 12 and he's hitting above 300 so like I said, no one was expecting this out of him simply because he is past his prime at age 35 right now. And they are also, you have to mention, playing in one of the most pitcher-friendly parks in all of baseball at Oracle Park in San Francisco. And they also have guys in the lineup, like I mentioned earlier, Mike Yastrzemski, who is currently on the IL. They have Brandon Belt, who is a solid power source there. They have Wilmer Flores, Brandon Crawford. I mean, there's a lot of decent players around this lineup, and there's Really no superstar like I said, but they all have pretty decent hitters who have been overperforming so far. Now, their hitting, like I said, has been all right. Their pitching has really stepped up this year, and this is the big reason why I think they're off to such a hot start. This rotation has been arguably the best in baseball so far. It is just unreal what these guys are putting together simply because they were coming into the season one of the worst rotations in all of baseball. Right now, Aaron Sanchez is this staff's worst pitcher so far, and he has an ERA of 2.22. So that just goes to show how great this rotation has pitched so far this season. It is just unreal. They're having one of the best team ERAs in team history. It's just been crazy to watch so far. And while I don't think it will go forward and stay like this, it is a pleasant surprise, and it's fun to watch so far. Now, outside of Aaron Sanchez, they have guys like Kevin Gosman, who is pitching to a 2.14 ERA, Anthony DiSclefani pitching to a 1.5 ERA, Johnny Cueto pitching to a 1.8 ERA, and Alex Wood with a 1.5 ERA. So all of these guys are pitching well above expectations so far. So I'm not too sure this will keep up, but it is the reason why they are off to such a hot start. And not to mention, Jake McGee has also had a late career resurgence in San Francisco. This guy is one of the best closers in baseball right now. And like I said, no one was expecting this so far out of him. Jake McGee is coming off some atrocious years in Colorado, which I guess you can attribute that to Coors. Going from Coors to Oracle Park is, you know, apples to oranges there. That's like the best hitters park going to the most pitcher-friendly park in baseball. So obviously he was going to improve, but no one would see it, him improving to this extent. So yes, they do have a couple hitters that are outperforming their expectations right now in Longoria and Buster Posey, but I do think the main reason why they're succeeding is because of their starting rotation and Jake McGee pitching in the ninth inning right now. Now for the outlook the rest of the season, I do not see this going forward. Um, I just don't think it's sustainable with how good their rotation is pitching right now, especially when you take into consideration how much of a surprise it is. These guys are not all necessarily the best pitchers in the world, so they are going to come back to earth eventually, I believe. I don't think this will keep up. And like I said, the guys in the rotation, Alex Wood, Johnny Cueto, Anthony DiSclefani, Kevin Gosman, Aaron Sanchez, these guys aren't guys that are going to keep pitching to the tune of a 2 or a sub-2 ERA throughout the whole season. It's just not going to happen. And Jake McGee also, while he has been a great surprise, he is in his upper 30s and that will not keep up as well. He's not going to be the best closer in baseball all season long. So I'm not saying they're going to have a drastic drop off here, but I don't think they're going to, you know, be competing with the Dodgers and the Padres all season long for that first spot in the NL West. I see them kind of being around a 500 team. They've always been scrappy the past couple of years. They haven't had the best rosters and they've made something out of it. They've competed. They've played above expectations with little to no talent on the roster. So I think the same could be said for this year, but I do not think they're going to keep this up. And unlike many teams in baseball right now who are struggling, the Giants are pretty much healthy at this point. Mike Yastrzemski is on the IL. I get that he's 
arguably their best hitter in their lineup. Um, but I don't think he's going to make that huge of a difference so far. So pretty much considering all of their players are healthy and they're playing above expectations, it's almost just a matter of time before this team kind of falls off and you know goes back to what they're supposed to be, which is, in my eyes, around a 500 baseball team. So there you have my thoughts on the San Francisco Giants so far. Uh, it's a great story. I'm not a huge Giants fan, so I don't necessarily want to see them do great. They've always been one of my most hated teams in baseball, simply because I've never been a huge uh, Madison Bumgarner, Buster Posey fan. I mean, I know Bumgarner's not in the team, but um, I just kind of, since I was young, growing up, never really liked them, so it's kind of just stuck with me. So I don't think they're going to keep this up. I think they're more of a 500 team. And with that being said, I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe, like the video as well. Let me know your comments down below what you think of the Giants so far. I love to interact baseball and talk baseball with you guys, so be sure to let me know what you guys think down below. And lastly, I want to thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you next time.